What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to save a file with a cell value. So what we're going to do is use this cell here, enter a name there, and use that name to save the file. So I have three windows. I have the VBA editor in the upper left. On the right I have the file. And then on the lower left I have where I'm going to be saving the file. And what we're going to be using as our name is going to be let's do let's go with Western Europe. You could also just easily just reference the cell to equals and choose this one. You get the same result. So we're going to first filter the region by Western Europe and then save the file by Western Europe all by using this cell here. So let's get into it. It's gonna name we're gonna name our sub. Um, let's call it save cell value. And first we're gonna filter. So let's get our sheet name going. You could just go with the default name, sheet one. But just to show you, if you want, you could just change the name to whatever you want. Call it whatever. Keep going. Choose our range. Our range is going to be A4. And that's because that's what we're going to be starting our we're going to be starting our filter at A4. It's going to go across. Auto filter field is going to be two. Because we're going to be right here. And then our criteria is going to be cell 26, which is this cell right here. And for the parameters here, it's always vertical first. So up or down, down, or, you're going to go down to, and then horizontal. For the second parameter, so we're going to go over 6, that lands us right here, and then we want the value. And that is where we're going to get our filter from. And now we're going to save the file with that same cell value. And um, just to be safe, we're going to use on error next, on error resume next. And we're going to do active workbook save as and our file name it's going to be c which is like the default drive for most computers and then we're going to have users grego waffles is my username then documents And test is the name of the folder we're going to be saving this in, as you can see right here. So I'm running out of space. So in order to go to the next line, I'm going to use an ampersand and an underscore. And I can go to the next line and keep going. So we're going to name this file countries of the world. Then have a dash. And then after that, we're going to reference this cell over here again. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. Cells to six value. Oops. Let's figure out what I did wrong here. Okay, so instead of a putting a colon here, I put a quotation. That should fix. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's <laughs> freaking out for a second. So our code's done. We 
get to view the macros run it and there we go got the file filter by Western Europe and you see it was saved down here countries of the world dash Western Europe there you have it and you could always change this say we wanted to do Oceania view the macro run it boom there you go filter by Oceania got Oceania saved right there and you can just keep doing it over and over again pretty neat all right everyone uh, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for watching.